Christian Women's Counseling International is operating two homes, one locally in San Diego and a second one in the Philippines. In addition to that, we also operate a community counseling center where we offer support groups and professional counseling for women who are in crisis and in need. The original vision for the homes was based on the fact that we saw a real gap in the care of women. Um, what we saw was that there were many opportunities for women to get into shelters or shelter type treatment or sober living facilities. And what we saw in these places was a lack of family. And what we know, just God tells us, is that we need community, we need family, we need healthy family systems in order to really grow and support women and in order for them to make a change in their lives. I was homeless and I didn't have my son, and um, he was with family, and I was just broken, hopeless, lost. I'm learning how to live life on life's terms again. I'm building a relationship with God that I've never had before, and that was like a big part of my relapse, because I did re I relapsed, and you know, I didn't have that relationship with God, and today I do, and that was because of the spiritual foundation of this house. Our vision really was to take those women and put them into this healthy family system where we knew that one thing could heal them, and that was the powerful, transforming love of Jesus Christ as it comes through His family. And His family is what we wanted to give them because we knew this, in fact, would save their lives. Back in 2013, of September, um, I ended up on the tracks and then I ended up in a mental hospital for a month. As far as being in the program, um, got me closer to God. Um, you can help but You do Bible studies every night and you take us to church at the Rock every Sunday. It was a family atmosphere, being in the homes. So I was first entered with six girls and it was fun because there was a lot of Friends, I didn't have friends because I pretty much isolated myself after the passing of my dad. Being through the program, yes. Um, it's nice to be independent again. I would recommend the program to people that are willing to work the program and make sure that's something they want to do before they enter the program, that they really want to really do the program and get well. The other thing about our homes that we knew was really necessary was that we needed to make these homes accessible to these women. And so all of our fees that we charge for these women are extremely accessible. In fact, we work very hard to support these women, to scholarship them, to get other organizations to support them so that we can just pay for the homes. And that's an important part of what we do too. We are women who are volunteers. There is nobody on a payroll. We all are volunteers. And the reason for that is that we put all of the funds that we collect back into the ministry, back into the homes, and back into the lives of these women and children. So we pray that you'll support us, not just today, but in the future as well. Because we have just one home locally, just eight beds, and it's packed. We're busting at the seams. And so we need a bigger home. We need at least 20 beds. And we want to get as many women and children off of the streets of San Diego as possible. Because I know that your heart is burdened like mine. Women and children do not belong on the streets. They belong in homes, safe homes, where they're secure and cared for by the people of God. I was a heroin addict, just gotten out of jail. And I just got my kids um, from my husband. Isaac was about eight months old, I think, and Psalm was five when I came into the program. And so we were staying with my in-laws. I happened to be outside one day and I ran into the upstairs neighbor that my in-laws rented to and she just started talking to me and I just kind of felt led to tell her my story and 
that opened up a conversation about the home that her and her husband decided to use to start a program for women. And so she gave me the director's name, Dawn Marie. She gave me her name and number and told me to call her. I, I really didn't have anything at that time. I didn't have even money, I think, to even move in. And um, I called Dawn Marie. She called me back right away, and I moved in that weekend. Just being there, really, it really changed my life. What was different for me um, compared to like other programs where I had been, um, the staff, Dawn Maurice, um, Judy, just really took the time to get to know me and just took the time to really encourage me to be a strong woman and to really rely on the Lord and to be a mother to my children and just really fight for my recovery and for my independence as a woman and just to really press into my relationship with Jesus and there was a lot of encouragement there that I hadn't had before. I'm studying um, for nutrition science. Yeah, life is good. I would definitely recommend Christian Women's Counseling International and Jessica's House of Hope to women who are struggling with alcohol um, addiction and or mothers who are struggling that have children. I've been really blessed by the program. So what we're asking of you today is for you to come alongside us. Quite frankly, you know, we are just women of God who love the Lord and love these women. But we need many, many people to come alongside us. And there is just so much work to do. You know, the Lord says the harvest is plentiful, the workers are few. And there are few of us doing this right now. So we'd like you to come alongside us to join us in our work so that we can expand not just this ministry, but touching the lives of all of these women and children on the street. Our goal is to really we never see women and their babies on the street. And you can help us in so many ways. You can contribute funds to us. You can work with us. We have women that need discipleship and mentoring. We need Bible study leaders. We need people who really want to be involved in this saving effort, really, of these women. And we know that we can do it in San Diego. We can do it internationally. We're doing it in the Philippines with just tons of little girls um, who have been put on the streets by their families. And now they're in a home being blessed by our missionary in the Philippines. My life was a mess. I am hopeless. I am in love. I feel in love. I'm self pity We built to my family and especially to God. I met April, Jimmy, and Caleb to their Bible study. They invited me to a prayer and worship night. And when they start singing, I just feel the presence of God. And my heart filled with joy, peace, and love that came from God. So my life started to change. And I have an opportunity to go to other places to share the good news, to share God's love, and to share uh, the hope that I found in Christ. Thank you so much for um, supporting us here. And thank you for the prayers. So God bless. So we know that this work can be done just with the love of Christ. And that is the transformation that saves all of us. If you need more information about us, we have a website. It's christianwomenscounseling.com. Please go there and read about us, who we are, what we do, how we do it. And also you can join us by just clicking on the icon that says, you know, we want to help. Um, so, and if you want to donate, you can donate online too. So we just pray that you will help us and come alongside us in Jesus name. Behind me what you see is a property that has multiple residences on one lot. And actually, um, our vision is to really expand our ministry. A property like this will enable us to not only multiply our beds to 20, but will also enable us to have a place that's secluded and serene and safe.
and our houses are safe houses for women and their children. This property will be able to show us that we can do not just a small house, but a large house, a compound even, where we can do three different types of residences. So it would be a main residence, which would be where our new women would come in as they start our program. There would be a secondary residence, which is a transitional home. And women would go from the main residence to the transitional home. And at that point, they'd learn how to pay their own rent, pay the utility bills, pay the groceries, really budget a home so that they can move on to their next residence. And then we have a third residence, which is a studio, and that's for our house parent, because we always have someone on site, an adult, 24 hours, seven days a week, to be able to supervise everything that happens in the home. So it's a perfect kind of setup for us, and we need your help to get to this place in our ministry.